Hello everyone and welcome back. I am of course Sam and I am joined this time by Fabrizio, one of the painters for the Celestial Miniatures Painting Competition. Fabrizio, hi. Thanks for coming on board. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, just to get started a bit, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, who are you and what work do you do? Oh, I'm a professional miniature painter since uh, 2000, 2001. Um, and I never stopped painting miniatures in, since I started because I love the, the way to do that. Uh, it's so creative and it's so different from all the other kind of uh, art uh, I, I studied before. Uh, I've studied um, traditional painting, uh, but uh, sometimes I paint uh, traditionals. But uh, now I'm, I'm a professional miniature painter, so that's it. <laughs> Wonderful. How did you get started on this? How, what brought you into miniature painting in the first place? Oh, it, it, was, a, it was a mistake. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just gave my uh, curriculum to the wrong person in the wrong time, in the wrong place. Uh, then I start to do this... Uh, Wrong job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's so so nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm re I'm really lucky because uh, you know I I paint. I live painting, so it's it's really uh, a lucky way to to live. <laughs> hmm. That sounds like you gave your uh, curriculum to the right job, by, by the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But at, in that moment, uh, it was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> because I was searching for something different. <laughs> Um, so that's a good uh, wrong way to start. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very unique one for sure. Uh, you've taken part in a lot of other miniature painting contests uh, over the years. Can you let us know of some of the other stuff you've entered in the past? Yes, I I, I like competitions. I really like competitions, um, sports, and everything uh, uh, where I can where I can express myself and. Uh, have a positive competition. Uh, so when I when I start painting miniatures, uh, the only way to show your work was uh, do competitions because uh, uh, internet was at the beginning. Uh, so there are no not so much uh, forum. There are not uh, uh, so much things uh, to do on 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 internet on Facebook. Uh, so. Um, when I started, I, uh, I, I just play competitions and um, I was very lucky since the beginning because my first uh, competition was the Golden Demon in Italy and I won um, a gold. Oh, wow. I was very lucky. And um, later, I, I took part in very, very uh, different kind of uh, competitions in Italy and in in Europe, sometimes in the uh, USA. Um, I won a lot of too much prizes, really too much prizes. <laughs> and uh, some of the most important, uh, obviously, are uh, Monte San Savino Show. It's probably the, the most important contest uh, about, the, about the quality. Uh, so I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. I won two times uh, the best of show at Monte San Savino. Uh, one time in the best of fantasy and other other very important um, uh, awards uh, here in, at Monte. Last year I won the Grand Maestro Prize, so it's I'm I'm really happy about that. Yeah. I even won um, uh, the best of fantasy at the World Model Expo Stresa 2014 and um, Best of Fantasy in Athens show last year. Uh, really, so, so many prizes. Um, I'm, I'm very lucky. I'm very, <laughs> very lucky, you know. Yeah. So That is very <laughs> impressive. Quite the list. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, long, uh, it's a long list. I, I do not remember all the, all the prizes, but not because they're not so important, because they're so much. Mm. Uh, yeah, last year I I said uh, um, I can do 
all the contests because it's it's really too much. I can't stay all the week in uh, in contests. So uh, now I I will do a bit less contest and a bit more painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you're in a contest now, of course, which is why you're here. The Celestial Miniatures Painting Competition, yeah. have you been finding that one so far? Is it different in any way to other contests you've been in? Yeah, it was so so funny, so strange and funny to uh, to be selected for a, uh, for a competition like that because it's a, it's a real uh, good opportunity, you know. Uh, they, they give you the opportunity to be the first i don't know if they will do other contests like this uh, hopefully i i hope uh, they, they will do us again but um, uh, we all are the first uh, here so it's very very uh, very very nice we are very very lucky to take part in this kind of uh, event and it's um, I think they, they did a very good job about the, the contest because uh, there was a it was uh, structured in a uh, in a good period. There is uh, not so much to say now about miniatures uh, because of the summer, you know. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so not it's not a good uh, it's not a good period to do miniatures to stay in your room when you can go <laughs> under the sun. So, <laughs> um, so they, they did uh, a very good job to me about, about this contest. Uh, for uh, one month, a uh, uh, lot of persons involved in the, in the community uh, talking just about this, uh, this competition. And so it's a it's a very good uh, it's a very good experience for all of us uh, uh, that we were selected for the uh, for the competition. Mm. Well, your work so, so far has been absolutely incredible. You chose the Queen of the Void. We'll just uh, have a quick look at that look at that model. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Why why did you choose the Queen of the Void? Why why this model? <laughs> Because I really like the, um, uh, the the feeling uh, with this kind of figures. It's a kind of uh, it's not a real monster. It's a kind of uh, strange mix between uh, um, a beautiful woman uh, and a monster. So um, positive and negative. Uh, so you can do everything you want. Really, the pose it's very. Uh, well done. So it's a pyramidal pose, uh, very, um, very, very strong pose. So um, I, I really was in love since uh, since I saw the first time the, the figure. Uh, so I selected easily the Queen of the Void. I had a second choice, and it was the Zurong. Correct the name? Yes. I, I'm, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, and so they 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 gave me even the Zurong, so I decided to to do a, a kind of duel um, because I was in love of both the figure, uh, and that's all. <laughs> yeah, I, I was noticing Zurong here on the base with that veil over her face. I I assume you sculpted that veil. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was. Um, um, I was looking at some uh, um, uh, traditional painting books, um, and I saw some painting uh, by René Magritte um, with some with, with the veil on, on the face, and it was a real nice uh, uh, way to um, to show. Um, a very very strong figure. Um, you know, if you remove the face, uh, an important part, the, the most important part of uh, of a figure, um, if you remove it, uh, something in in your mind when you when you look at the model uh, goes directly to to that kind of uh, uh, imaginary. And it, and it's very very 
uh, what can how can I say? It's very very um, hard. It's very um, it's very strong as a as a contrast. Mm. So I, I really like uh, to do a uh, thing like that. So I I decide immediately to to create it. It's a stunning piece. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> just just looking a bit more at the base here, there are some very yeah. interesting organic yeah. uh, organic looking I, I don't know how to describe them these these <laughs> almost spell arcs behind the Queen of the Void how did you achieve those and what are they supposed to be? Uh, yeah sometimes I had uh, some, uh, I, I'm very lucky because I remember lots of uh, um a lot of pictures, a lot of uh, ideas, uh, and I don't want to use them all in uh, in all my in all my figures. So I mm, this was a, a very old idea. Um, it was waiting for the good model, mm. and I think this is the good model to to create this kind of uh, um, structure. Is a um, it's a very ancient uh, base uh, because of uh, terracotta models mm. um, uh, with um, with the contrast of uh, uh, science fiction uh, parts um, that create a light effect, a very strong light effect, and a very um, uh, very very big uh, surface where you can uh, uh, go on with your eyes on, on the model. So I think um, I, I think it works. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think it works. I I, I would like to do something very impressive because of uh, of the contest uh, because they, they just uh, from Celestial they just ask us to to do everything we want. So why not to do something <laughs> really, really, really strong, really, uh, really strong? Yeah. Strong is is the correct uh, way to, uh, I think. To... Yeah, strong is the perfect way to put it. I mean, uh, there is a, a very eye-catching contrast between the, the those arcs and the more. I don't like to use duller because the colors are very, very rich on the rest of the model. But those arcs are so vibrant, they make it all stand out. Thank you very much. Uh, really, this is my uh, research uh, when I, since when I start painting. I, I try to do uh, my personal point of view. I try to paint my personal point of view. Uh, and... Uh, Sometimes uh, it happens, sometimes uh, less. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now, uh, on, on that model, I I was very, very mm, lucky because uh, uh, because everything uh, goes uh, uh, very mm, easily. Uh, mm. All the painting was very um, easily to think and to create it. So I'm very, I'm very happy about the model. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> well, if we look at the, uh, if we move up from the base to the model itself, we can see some of the detailed painting you've done here. The shading is superb, especially on the cloth and the different surfaces of the skin. But the thing that really stands out to me are those cracks across the side of the body. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> Why did you decide to paint those? Um, as, as I told you before, um, ideas uh, came uh, when when you look at a lot of pictures, when you have a, um, a good... Uh, um, I, I was just looking at some books, Chinese books, uh, about art. Uh, traditional art, uh, Chinese traditional art, mm -hmm. and um, I saw 
I saw a lot of uh, crack in the in the painting. A lot of uh, uh, so I decided to uh, to paint this kind of effect on the skin because this is not a it was not a real skin. So it could be very very interesting to uh, to give a sense of fragility and uh, and on, on a, such a strong figure. And um, and it works even with uh, terracotta um, figures on on the base because they they are very uh, cracked, they are very crashed. So it's, it's a continuous uh, um, way to to paint uh, and to give an harmonic feeling uh, to the uh, to all the figure. Mm. Actually, just. I'm just looking at the terracotta base now. How did you make this? Did you sculpt it all by hand? Did you have some uh, terracotta minis that you just wanted to use? <laughs> no, I, I just buy them uh, in a Chinese store really, I think, 10 years ago. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so they've been waiting all this time for the perfect yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything here is... Uh, um, a good way to express that uh, that kind of um, of things that I that I said before. Um, there is a time for everything. So you know, <laughs> I think in this model, I I, I found good solution uh, close in my mind in my mind for some some years. So uh, I'm I'm very uh, I'm very lucky to. To have the opportunity to to create something like that, mm. uh, and uh, I just uh, uh, buy that figure and um, that terracotta figure, and then I uh, crack it with a with a hammer, yeah. you know, boom, boom, <laughs> and that's uh, that's the result. I just uh, put put them on on the base with some uh, uh, milliput and. Uh, and I create all the all the, all the level the all the yeah. level of uh, of a base. It's a really good effect. Uh, I just love the idea of going going to town with a hammer to make your base. Yeah. <laughs> Who says painting's not yeah. fun? <laughs> yeah, it was so so funny. <laughs> uh, you know, you you can uh, you can go out of your house and break something to to create something. <laughs> that's that's very strange, but. Uh, <laughs> But sometimes yeah. uh, it works. So. <laughs> yeah, well, it worked here. So, did this model present to you any new challenges? Anything you hadn't come before? Did you have to try any new techniques when you approached it? Yeah, the um, in in the base, in particular, because um, all all the structure was uh, created with. Uh, um, uh, Acetato foil, you know, to to create the transparency effect of uh, of a yellow and the green uh, behind the model. Mm. Uh, I, I used uh, acetato foil. I, I don't know. I think it's correct even in English. Uh, and um, and then I paint it uh, as a, as a normal uh, with my airbrush as a normal uh, base structure, uh, mm -hmm. but it was the first time, so I, I have to try, I just did some, uh, some proof before to do the, the original, uh, and with, um, for, to create the, the structure, I just use a, a, a candle uh, for, uh, for the modulation of uh, of the acetato foil, and um, and that's all. It was the first time that I did uh, something like that. Uh, all the rest, all the rest of the painting uh, was maybe even the crack effect. Uh, I just did uh, some some years ago uh, other uh, crack effect, uh, uh, but a very small, very small part. This was a very uh, very big, uh, so that's the only difference between uh, something in the past. Excellent. 
So, how how do you think the uh, competition's going for everyone else as well? What do you think of the other painters' work? Oh, I, I'm very happy that all the, <coughs> the painters uh, um, were so interested by, by this competition. I think uh, nobody did uh, uh, less than, than his best uh, because, uh, uh, because everybody, when, when you take part in competition, everybody wants to win, wants to do the best to... Uh, and I think uh, all the models are very, very nice and very, very different from uh, the, um, the original, the box art, uh, the, the, the presentation of Celestial. So that means that uh, uh, all the painters were so uh, interested by, uh, by the competition. Yeah. And, 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 it's, uh, and that's why... Uh, I, I told you that uh, uh, they did a very good job with the uh, with the contest uh, because the because of the selection because of the uh, um, everything works so I'm very very happy to to be here. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show and talking with us about your beautiful work. Before we let you go. Uh, can you let us know where else can people find your work? Do you have any websites or Facebook pages? Yeah, you can. You can find me easily on Facebook. Uh, I have uh, my personal page and uh, a professional page. Uh, professional page. Uh, the professional page is called uh, Rusto Art and Craft Show. Uh, you can easily check it on uh, at uh, Rusto Art. Uh, and the same on uh, Instagram. Um, that's all. That's all. <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> uh, have you uh, have you put this model in the project page on Beast of War yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Uh, I put that, uh, the model on my on my profile page, and um, so you can you can see even on on Beast of War, and uh, uh, I will have time. To, to talk about that on Beast of War too. So. <laughs> Excellent. So if you want to see more of this fantastic figure, be sure to check out his project page. We'll put a link in the description below. And also to uh, Fabrizio's own Facebook and Instagram. Right, Fabrizio, thank you again very much for coming on board. Thank you very much. It was really, really nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember, thank if... you for... <laughs> no worries. Remember, if you want to see more of Celestial Miniatures, just type that into the search bar at beastofwar.com or on tabletop.com and be sure to check out the rest of the amazing work that's been coming out of this uh, competition. You can also head out to the Celestial Miniatures Facebook group and see the great work they've been posting there. Until then, we'll see you in the next one. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.